Well, from COVID protocols to transportation to staffing, parents are raising concerns with CCSD, but another issue took center stage tonight. The 13 Action News reporter John Dommel now joins us live with more about an anti-racism policy. John. Well, Todd and Trisha, one of the biggest talking points tonight was the anti-racism policy, and many of the folks out here were left wondering why it's taken so long to put it together. The same people that you see coming to these school board meetings, crying about masks and vaccines, I wish that was my only problem. I wish all I had to worry about was a mask or a vaccine. Akiko Cooks is the co-founder of a group called 1865 No Racism in Schools, and she called the district's anti-racism task force ineffectual, citing what she calls disruptive behavior at Arborview and Shadow Ridge. Students were allowed to wear Confederate flags, um, make America great again hats. Our students are traumatized. Um, they are being targeted and intimidated by other students. One student present at the board meeting said that the problem goes beyond some unchecked classmates. I have to tell teachers why their comments about my name and laughing about why it's so funny why their comments about poverty and saying that I deserve to be in the hood is not okay. The point of the policy is to establish a more balanced learning environment that would help any student, regardless of their race or ethnicity, succeed. We are humans too. We are students too. And I deserve to have the same education as my other peers. And an update was given, further defining the completion date. And it was also announced that critical race theory will not be included. So the district, Superintendent Jar, this is on you. You had two and a half years. Why is it taking two and a half years to write an anti-racism policy? And a first draft of that anti-racism policy is expected to come sometime in October, with it being fully endorsed and adopted by the school system come January 2022. Reporting live in Las Vegas, John Dommel, 13 Action News.